guys uh today's fast and toy story is from the most recent batman movie and i'm referring to the batman movie lego batman movie so our fast for for today will be the toys from mcdonald's this line of toys from mcdonald's which are based on the lego batman movie and i'm very excited okay as you can see we have a specially made Happy Meal box uh, made, a bit made available here in the Philippines. Okay, so we have the Batman movie there only in cinemas. So I better save up on that, uh, save up uh, a couple of moolah so that I may be able to watch it in the widescreen. Okay. So as you can see the front uh, there, we have a couple of the characters uh, from the Batman uh, franchise, so from the Batman movie. And we have um, Joker, there's a little shine there. Uh, we also have Riddler, Scarecrow, and Harlequin. Over at the side, we have uh, Poison Ivy. Uh, Catwoman and who's this? Two Face. And is this a villain? <laughs> okay, Happy here is disguised as Batman. Okay. Uh, on the other side, we have Batgirl, Batman, and the trusty butler, Alfred. And then front and center is this really wonderful montage of the Cape Crusaders. Okay, Batman, uh, yeah, Batman and uh, Batgirl, Robin, and Batman. <laughs> well, Happy here looks like Batman, so presumably, I think he is assuming the role of Batman in this particular box. So, this is a neat, uh, neat box. That's why every time I buy a Happy Meal uh, from McDonald's, I usually ask the, the, the person attending to please be very careful with the box because I'm, I'm really uh, gonna keep it. I want to make it as pristine as possible. <laughs> One time I was asking them to do that. So uh, you don't want it to, to be unfolded. So I don't know, it kind of uh, <laughs> did mess it up uh, even more because of uh, a certain you know misunderstanding or misinterpretation of what I actually said. Well, anyway, I was able to procure other boxes, so this is one of the many that I am going to have since I'm going to buy all eight toys from the Lego Batman movie. Okay, our first toy is a tin can. <laughs> okay, it's a tin can. Okay, a tin can of Robin. Now, it's not just Robin in this tin can, it is. We also have Catwoman at the back. Okay, this is a really nice tin can toy. <laughs> it's like two in one. When you unfold it, you have two characters. And what's amazing is not just the ordinary tin cans because there's a certain relief. I think in the arts, you mean call them, you call the paintings with a little embossed. Um, characteristics as bar relief. I don't know if we can consider this as a bar relief kind of uh, uh, artistic <laughs> creation. Well, it's a bar relief in my book, so, and I'm very happy about this particular toy. So we have Robin here and Catwoman, which we can uh, pull out together, pull out apart. Yeah, uh, maybe we can probably put uh, some of our stuff there, some of the more precious Batman memorabilia or notes. Now, aside from the tin toy, uh, there are also an amazing treat, a bonus, if you will. Uh, stickers, which are also cut in the likeness of the tin can. Okay, so how many stickers do we have? Okay, first. We have a sticker of Batman. Nice, very nice. I think it will go wonderfully uh, if you stick it in your notebooks or in your um, 
plan or or whatever it is that you treasure and you want to to put a little uh you know a dark knight character in whatever um whatever notebooks or whatever paper or even your laptop computers perhaps okay so we have batman and then we also have batgirl the sticker batgirl and then um we uh in this other stickers we have a group of characters we have catwoman here we have joker we have batman uh the iconic batman logo and we have robin here in a very very uh sidetrack position <laughs> okay and then another sticker a group stickers again uh, we have uh, robin uh, Batgirl, Catwoman, Batman, and another, you know, the iconic emblem or logo of Batman. So that's it. Great toy from McDonald's and I am so looking forward to buying uh, the rest of the toys. Okay, uh, now in this portion of our Fast and Toy Story, I would like to concentrate more on Robin. Uh, the boy wonder because i remember i previously talked about catwoman in my previous uh uh percy's fast food toy story now let's take a look at the sidekick because more often than not sidekicks have always been relegated as very unimportant as merely a supporting role for the main protagonist or the main superhero <clears throat> i think it's high time that we put in the limelight the sidekick because they're also very important a very vital um character in the making of the dynamic duo uh, because without robin there wouldn't be a dynamic duo it would be simply bad <laughs> okay so uh i can only guess or surmise what the feelings of the sidekicks are you know? uh, robin has also been the proverbial uh sidekick you know? In almost all superhero uh, movies or any cartoons or any television show or uh, whatever in book perhaps no um, main characters main characters or main superheroes always have sidekicks uh, we can recall the Green Hornets uh, the Green Hornet sidekick Cato. Um, well, I'm not really sure. See, I don't even remember the name of the sidekick of the Green Hornet. Uh, but this one I know. Uh, Captain Smee from Peter Pan. Uh, and his faithful sidekick, Smee. Or Mickey Mouse sidekicks. Uh, Mickey Mouse's sidekick is Pluto. Uh, or uh, Sherlock Holmes and... <laughs> I also don't know the sidekick of Sherlock Holmes. Uh, Dick Dastardly and his faithful sidekick, uh, Muttley. Okay, so there you go. Uh, that goes to prove that uh, indeed, even to the viewers, uh, sidekicks are not as embedded in our consciousness or in our minds. So I can only feel the kind of emotion or the angst that the sidekicks often feel um, whenever uh, they think about that their position uh, their situation no? uh, they're always left out so now i thought of this particular song as uh, i can only imagine if robin has come to the point of no return you know the dead end moment like uh, he's had his fill of being left out or uh, being merely as a supporting character in the franchise <laughs> this would probably be the song or uh, the kind of um, pronouncement that would come out from this proverbial sidekick robin so i think uh, now as uh, we listen to the song uh, uh, the the main superheroes would uh, you know take into account the the feelings of the sidekicks that they're also important that uh, they're not there to simply be uh, a support for the aggrandizement or <laughs> the you know uh, 
to make them more stellar. I mean the superheroes. Okay, so as you listen to the song, hopefully Batman, uh, Superman, and the rest of the other superheroes who have their own sidekicks uh, would pay attention to their sidekicks and truly listen. <laughs> God. 